Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm here to do your weekly readings and we're now on Gemini. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot, and hit that notification button so you know exactly when I post a new video. I'm also on Instagram. Hey, <laughs> so hop on over to Insta and follow my page at Sophia Monet Tarot for your daily readings. Okay, so here we go, Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. If I can get the cards right. <laughs> What's going on with Geminis and what do they need to hear and know for this week? Geminis. What do they need to hear and know for this week? Geminis. Hmm. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of purple here. There's a lot of purple. So there's definitely a strong feeling of you, like almost like a, a regalness about you. There's something where it's like you're you're evolving into a better person. You're coming into a knowing of yourself, a higher knowing of who you are this week, okay? So I just kind of want to start off with that. We have the shadow card here. So this is like the moon card in traditional tarot. So you may have recently dealt with some fears or anxiety um, emotionally. You may have been dealing with some emotions that have just been kind of lying dormant under the surface. Um, there's also a quietness about you this week where you may just be quiet about your emotions and you're seeing yourself for who you really are. If you kind of look at this card, it's almost like a man looking at himself. He's looking at himself and kind of passing the baton to himself. So I feel like you're doing some self-reflection this week, okay? With the awareness card here, you are definitely aware of who you are. Self-awareness this week and you are manifesting something in your life. And I feel like it's something great because right behind that, we have the third eye chakra. So definitely being enlightened, okay? You are being enlightened. Some Something is being illuminated this week. And you are coming, like I said, into a knowing of yourself, maybe like you've never had before or you haven't experienced in a long time. At the bottom of the deck, we have passion ignited. So your passions could be ignited this week for yourself, for your career. Some of you just knowing what you want to do for your career, career changes, career moves. Some of you, a passion is ignited for a lover this week. Okay. So it'll, of course, this is a general reading, so it'll be different for every uh, Gemini. But yeah, I feel like a lot of you are trying to find balance. Hmm. Some of you may be, <laughs> some of you may be looking at a new lover with like a side eye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some of you may not trust a new lover, even though your passions may be ignited for this people, these people, <laughs> it may be a bunch of people, but your passion may be ignited for a certain person. You may not be as trusting of a new person or a new situation. Some of you are still healing. So take it easy or take it slow. If a new person is in your life, as far as a romantic interest, but let's clarify these cards. What's this energy for Gemini? What's this energy for Gemini? Why are these cards here for Gemini? What's the shadow card for Gemini? The awareness card. And third eye chakra. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, we have the king of cups. Wow. Interesting that you're coming up as the king of cups. You're an air sign. This is a water sign. Okay. Now, you could be <laughs> having your eye on a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or someone who's just very loving, nurturing, caring. When you get the king of cups, this is someone who's very nurturing. Okay. Yeah. And right behind it, the wheel of fortune. 
I feel like some of you are starting to get more comfortable. Dare I say, a Gemini is getting more comfortable with their feelings. Because <laughs> you usually run away from how you feel. But I feel like some of you are starting to open up with how you feel. Okay? Remember the shadow card. Okay? That I said at the beginning is emotions that have been lying dormant. And now something is coming to the surface. Something is being illuminated for you. Maybe you're realizing that I really do want to work for this company, this job with the Three of Pentacles, or I really do want to come together and try to work it out with this person. Okay. When you get the Three of Pentacles, it's all about working together with a group of people or a certain person. It's like actually putting in the work this time. Okay. With the awareness card, we have the Hierophant. Yes, this could absolutely be about your career or a um, a job. When you get the career, this is like a longstanding uh, institution, like a company, some something that you've been at for a long time. Some of you are realizing that you really do want to be with someone long term. The Hierophant could represent the institution of marriage. So you could be realizing awareness, you're aware of what you want with a certain company or a certain person. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's a, a strong feeling of knowing this week. It's like, man, I know what I want to do and your passions are on fire. You are ignited this week. Okay. With third eye chakra, we have this, the seven of cups, the seven of cups is here. So I feel like out of this confusion that you've been going through, because I feel like this is representing confusion, you may have um, in the recent past been, been very confused when it comes to your career, what you really want to do concerning a certain business. Some of you have been uh, up against a, a like maybe a very stern company, um, dealing with your company, sorry, up against a stern person, like a boss or a supervisor, someone who is very controlling. Some of you could have been dealing with this in your family, but I feel like with the seven of cups out of this confusion, we have the third eye chakra. Now you're aware. Now you're aware of what is going on. Now you're aware of what you want, what you desire this week. Okay. So let's get some advice for Gemini's. What does Gemini need to hear and know for this week? What's the advice for Gemini? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Gemini's. We have trust. Wow, that's a big one. So if things have not been working out in the past, maybe you were just like, okay, mm -mm, I don't trust. <laughs> I don't trust that things are going to get better. I don't trust that things are going to align for me, but I'm just being drawn to how this is aligned. This person, there's an angel behind it and it's so, maybe you can see it right there. It's so light, but there's another angel behind that. It's like aligned. Okay. So things are aligning for you. I, I don't know why I'm drawn to that. Uh, about how that looks, but things are aligning for you. Things are working out in your favor. And I feel like you need to trust that the universe has your back in this situation, that things are getting better for you as you become aware of yourself. I feel like spirit is really bringing up some issues this week with you concerning your emotions. And I feel like, man, you are about to be set on fire Okay, for for the things that you are going to do. And I also feel, let me say this before I go. Some of you, right behind the Passion Ignited card, we have balance. So some of you, if you were um, a person who was very sexually drawn to people all the time and, you know, that was all you got in return was sex, some of you are balancing out that side of yourself. Some of you are cooling down the sex engine. <laughs> Some of you are learning to balance out your sexual side and your emotions. So you're learning to kind of temper it off and learning that it's not always about sex. 
that your emotions are important as well. Okay. Alrighty, Gemini. So don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you, Gemini. Have a great week. Bye.